Hello, my name is Colin Fan. I am a pharmacy student at the California North State University College of Pharmacy class of 2022. Today, I will be talking about Praluent, also available generically as Ali Rosumab. Praluent is commonly used to treat hypercholesterolemia and to prevent cardiovascular diseases. For administration, a patient is to allow the medication to warm up in room temperature for about 30 to 40 minutes. Afterwards, they are to inject either 75 milligrams or 100 milligram dose subcutaneously. And for patients who require 300 milligram dose, they are to inject 150 milligrams subcutaneously twice in two different areas of the body. And those can include thigh, abdomen, or the upper arm. For patients taking Praluent, they should rotate the injection site with each dose. If they miss a dose, the patient may administer the dose within seven days. However, if it's been more than seven days, then the patient should wait for the next scheduled dose. Some warnings and side effects of Praluent include patients should be cautious of hypersensitivity reactions and vasculitis. Some common side effects of this medication include injection site reaction, which can include rashes or pain. Patient can experience nas nasopharyngitis, influenza, UTI, or diarrhea, and they can experience muscle pain or myalgia. Some more serious adverse reactions include allergic reaction, which can cause difficulty breathing or severe rash, or angioedema. Some background about Parliament include it was FDA approved on July 15th, the first PCSK9 medication approved for cholesterol lowering treatment. It was approved for an adjunct therapy along with diet and statin therapy. It is a monoclonal antibody produced in recombinant DNA technology in Chinese hamster ovarian cell. The way this medication works is that it inhibits the binding of PCSK9 to LDL receptors on hepatocytes, thus reducing degradation of the LDL receptors. Increased LDL receptors are then available to clear LDL from circulation and lower LDL levels in the patient. Some pros about Praluent include it is used every two weeks or monthly instead of daily or weekly. It can be used when other medications provide little success. It is an alternative therapy for patients with statin side effects or allergy. It is available as easy to use pre-filled syringes for the patients. Some cons of this medication include it is only available as injection. Only certain pharmacies carry this medication in their pharmacy. Compared to statins, long-term side effects of this medication is not very well known. It must be refrigerated. It can be costly as well. Again, this medication is only available as an injection, as a subcutaneous solution, 75 milligrams per milliliter or 150 milligrams per milliliter. For the uh, indication of cardiovascular disease prevention, a patient is to inject 75 mg sub-Q every two weeks or 300 mg sub-Q every four weeks. For hypercholesterolemia, the initial dose is 75 mg sub-Q every two weeks, maximum dose of 150 mg sub-Q every two weeks. For dosing adjustment, if a patient has renal impairment, there are no um, a, no dose adjustments that the patient needs to worry about, all, as well as hepatic impairment. However, in pediatric population, the safety and efficacy is not very well established. As well as pregnancy and lactation, the fetal risk cannot be ruled out. For monitoring parameter, the, uh, for the patients to measure the efficacy of the medication, the patient should measure their LDL levels within four to eight weeks of treatment of treatment initiation if they're dosing every two weeks. However, if they're dosing every four weeks, then they should measure the LDL just prior to their next scheduled dose. 
For safety, the patient should look out for hypersensitivity reactions and severe adverse effects while on this medication. And here are a list of my references. Thank you so much for listening.